Capella possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called... Hella possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls. Hella possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls. High are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to achieve, half black and half the color of flesh, and her face menacing. Warrior, you're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight. seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? Shaped by shaped by Senua's nightmares. Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You fail the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Curse. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's a curse. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just like your sword. Come on. Why go on, when you give everything and face that which torments you, only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined? Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer, 
that we do not dare pose the question. Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling, a song. Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father, Zinbel, made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs. Errands out in the Orkney Plains. Was her world like this one, barren and lonely? Time in years, she felt. You have to keep Dillian's waiting. A ray of hope. 